What's going on, wrenchers and wrenchlets? Today I'm going to show you how to delete vats on a LS swap uh, stock ECU with HP tuners. It's pretty simple. Either uh, I want to demonstrate it with my truck. Of course, it's already put together and everything. But um, if you was to do LS swap and uh, hook it all up, you get your OBD2 port. You have to have an OBD2 port so you can hook up to it, of course. Or if you have a, a what they call a bench harness, uh, you can do it that way too. I haven't done it that way. I don't know how you do it, but pretty much you open up your VCM editor and HP tuners, hook your uh, fob up, hook it up to your computer, then you will go to right here, read vehicle, click it, make sure your ignition's on. This little box will pop up, click read. Then it'll be, then it will start reading the vehicle. Right now it says time remaining, three minutes, 19 seconds. Got your little bar here, let it read it. After it reads it, this will pop up, make it where you can type in your first red what not I'm not going to because I don't need to then you click save and hit cancel for me I'm just going to open up a file I got I'm going to open up my first red alright you see up here at the top what you have s10 first red so the vats will be you have all these options right here engine engine diagnostics transmission transmission diagnostics fuel system then system that's what you will need to click on then you'll have vehicle security and column lock right here on security you'll see vats control you'll click on it You'll see three different options. You need to click down here on none. We don't need no security. We just need it to be gone so we can start it. I haven't tried it personally. So I had mine deleted before I tried it. But without this, your uh, vehicle, your S10 will not run after you pull it out of your donor vehicle or pull it from the junkyard. Also right here, you can uh, change your mile per hour. Mine set for 255, which I'm not going to try because my truck will probably fall apart. But once you do that, exit out of it, and you will go to, uh, you can save it, or you can go to right vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this because I don't want to mess with what I already got, but we'll click right vehicle. You'll click right. Then of course you have to make sure you have credits for it for most most of the LS swaps or uh, the LS ECUs is going to be around uh, two credits, which is fifty dollars a credit, so it costs you about a hundred bucks. Some of the new LT engines, I think they might be a little more. I'm not sure, but once you click right. And you buy your credits, which it's not popping up right now for some reason. Probably because might not be disconnected or might not be connected to the internet. But once you get your credits and all that, once you go to upload it, is when you'll have to pay for your credit. But you don't do it before. Once you uh, do that, you upload it, and your vat should be deleted, and you should be ready to go. <laughs>
handle a lot better. So stay tuned. That is coming up.